Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, this uh, square D, P, E, F uh, fully confined uh, in a sector A, B, C as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, square is uh, 100 uh, centimeters square and this uh, angle uh, B, A, C is uh, 45 uh, degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, pink uh, square DPEF whose uh, area has been given to us uh, as a 100 centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square where S represents the side length of the square. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. Our area has been given to us as 100 equal to S square. Let's go ahead and undo this square. We're going to take a square root on both sides. So therefore our side length S turns out to be 10 centimeter. So therefore the side length of this square DPEF turns out to be 10 across the board as you can see over here. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this right triangle AEP. We know this angle is 45 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. And since this angle and this angle both of them are 45 degrees. So therefore uh, this is an isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore uh, this uh, side uh, PE is going to be equal to this side length uh, AE. And we know that this uh, side length uh, PE is uh, 10. So therefore uh, this side length uh, AE is going to be 10 uh, centimeter as well. And now we know that this uh, AB is the radius uh, of this uh, sector ABC and moreover this uh, AC is the radius uh, of the same sector as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, sector. So therefore I have connected uh, this uh, point A with this uh, point uh, D on the circle and as a result we got uh, this uh, right triangle uh, AFD whose uh, side length uh, AF uh, is going to be 10 uh, plus 10 uh, is going to make uh, 20 centimeter whereas uh, this uh, side length uh, FD is going to be 10. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, AFD whose uh, side lengths are 20 and 10 and now we are interested in calculating this uh, side length uh, AD. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call our longest leg as side c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 20 so this is going to become 20 square plus b is 10 whole square equal to c square. So let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us 400 plus 100 equal to c square. So therefore c square is going to be equal to 500. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides and here we can see this square and square root is gone. So therefore our this C value turns out to be square root of 500. And now we can see that the square root of 500 could be simplified as 10 times the square root of 5. So therefore I can write C equal to 10 times the square root of 5. And now we can see that this uh, C represents the radius uh, AD and this turns out to be 10 times square root of 5. And now let's make an observation. We know that our radius uh, turns out to be 10 times uh, 
square root of 5. So therefore, uh, this uh, radius uh, AB is going to be 10 times uh, square root of 5. And likewise, uh, this radius uh, AC is going to be 10 uh, times uh, square root of 5 uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, whole uh, sector ABC. And now let's recall the sector area formula. Area equal to theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square where r is the radius. And in our case, uh, our radius is 10 times square root of 5 and our angle uh, theta is uh, 45 degrees. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Theta is 45 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi and times radius in our case is 10 times square root of 5 whole square. And now we can see 45 degrees divided by 360 degrees is going to reduce to 1 divided by 8 and likewise 10 times square root of 5 whole square is going to give us 500. So therefore this whole thing turns out to be 500 divided by 8 times pi and this could be written as 62.5 by centimeter square the area of this uh, sector ABC and here's our final step let's make an observation we can see that the area of this uh, green shaded region is going to be equal to the area of this whole uh, sector ABC minus uh, the area of this uh, square DPEF and now we can see we already figured out uh, the area of this sector ABC that was 62.5 times pi and the area of this uh, square DPEF uh, was given as 100 centimeters square. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So we can write this one as 62.5 times pi minus 100. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region uh, turns out to be 62.5 pi minus 100 centimeter square and that is uh, approximately equal to 96.35 centimeter square. So therefore the area of uh, this green shaded region is going to be approximately equal to 96.35 centimeter square and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.